guys and welcome back to Project Z Garage. Hope you guys are doing good and being safe out there. Uh, today we're going to be we continue working on the Audi A4. So we have a new grill for the stock front bumper, which will replace the stock grill here. As I've said in I know in other videos, uh, someone backed into this and kind of damaged it pretty bad. So we're going to replace that. And also, I figured I'll give you guys a little sneak peek on another bumper that I'm working on to see if I can get it to fit properly on, on our car here. Uh, this is the, I think it's Deval uh, RS4 style front bumper. Uh, we test fitted it right now and we still need to do some, uh, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done to this bumper. Um, it's a little dark here, so it's kind of hard to see how it looks, but it looks pretty good but it does need a lot of points where it needs to where you have to figure out where it will secure um it doesn't have like the oem brackets and stuff that normally hooks onto the body of the car so you need to make your own or find ways to retrofit the uh stock parts from the uh the original bumper onto it so that it fits so that's what i really would like to do is use some of the parts off of this old bumper you know combine it with this one but again this is a project down the line i don't know how soon i'll be able to get to it right now i just want to get everything back together so i can start driving it again um so first of all you need to take the bumper off if you if you don't know how to take the front bumper off i did go over it briefly in one of the other videos which i'll i'll uh tag it on top or i'll put it in the description below so you guys can check that out but it's pretty easy to take these bumpers off they they're not that hard to come off now, I have it on here on the table to make it easier for you guys to see and also for us to work on. So we're going to turn this around. Oh, let me try to turn it around without trying to break it. All right, now this boat, now the grill is it's pretty easy to come off if you look here there's a bunch of these uh, torques that hold the grill to the bumper um, and there, you kind of just have to work your way around it and removing all of these so we're gonna work on that also you have to be careful this is the fog light wiring which runs from one side of the bumper to the other side so we're gonna have to take those off you know take the whatever's tape or whatever's holding it on to the back of the grill and then we have to find a way of securing this on the other grill that we have so let us work on getting this grill off and finding out what size these are so we know what to take off there's a decent amount of them too uh let's see all right guys so to get this grill off once you turn it around we have a bunch of t20 torque screws about 10 of them around the perimeter of the grill so i'm gonna work on getting those off and getting this uh old grill disassembled screw off and it's pretty much ready to fall off uh we didn't need to take this off it's actually another piece on the back that i didn't realize that that houses that so we can leave that alone so we don't have to remove that wire from this part of the grill so there we go there we have the stock grill taken off Let's put that to the side. And let's get the uh, new grill out of the box. Kind of that's what the car looks without the grill. What we probably are going to do is just clean up the inside there a little bit. 
so it looks a little nicer and then we'll get the new grill out so you can see it next to the old one all right guys as you can see we went with a honeycomb style grill which is kind of similar to the rs4 uh we got this off of amazon or ebay or something a long time ago and i just had it sitting in the garage so as you can see the difference this one is the bar style and kind of closes up the front this one you have a little more space in the front here because we went with like the european front now we have a fix for not having a license plate because we do have to run a front license plate here in new york so once that comes in we'll we'll do a video on that but for now i kind of like the clean look um we are going to put the the the, the uh, rings back on the front i did order a new set so we can work on putting that on once we get this on the bumper uh but it's not bad i mean it is a little more flimsy i guess not really it feels about the same honestly it's all right i mean it's a temporary thing until we uh get the new uh rs4 style bumper on the car all right guys we got the new grill on it's pretty straightforward uh you just take the screws out of the old one you pop it in the new one and you know it, it's pretty much all that there is to it there's not that much work into it but there are some issues seeing this is an ebay slash uh amazon i can't remember where we bought this grill from there are some fitment issues that i would like to address because i want to tell you guys the truth about these parts i didn't spend much for it it was like i could swear i think i paid like 50 bucks for it so compared to a stock grill which is a couple hundred bucks it's relatively cheap and it, and if you look at it from a distance like not even a distance if you look at it right now off the car you probably wouldn't notice the issues i have with it but once we put it on i think you're going to have a better a better idea of what i'm talking about but uh let's take a look at it now and tell me what you guys think boom i mean it looks good like i really like the honeycomb pattern you're definitely going to be able to see the intercooler with it. Um, it did come with a mount to put the the uh, the rings on. But I took the rings off of the RS4 uh, grill that I have. And I swapped it to this one so we can see the difference between that one and the stock one here. So from this picture it looks great. But let me... All right, so right off the bat, uh, some of the holes lined up pretty well. Uh, a couple of them, you kind of had to finesse the grill for it to fit. Also, I, it kind of threw me off a little bit comparing the two. The top of the grill here is supposed to be flatter. This is kind of a, if you look at it, it's kind of an angle up this way. And it's more pronounced when you look at it from the side. You can see there's a big gap here so this is supposed to come down quite a bit now i'm hoping that once we put it on the car and we put the screw in it uh the bolt on the top i'm hoping that will hold this part down i'm also thinking maybe to heat up the inside of it and just apply some pressure to see if it'll help it to uh mold a little better to the bumper um also this this uh rings holder isn't the greatest uh if you come from the back it's using some straps here like some rubber straps that screw into the top and bottom i mean i think it'll hold it in place but you're gonna have to measure and make sure you have the rings in a in like exact center or else i guess it'll look off if you just throw it on anyhow Now this gives you, I mean the good part about this, it gives you some flexibility to move the rings up and down and, and left and right, however you like it. I moved it a little higher because it seemed to fit a little better uh, with the way I lined it up. And honestly, if you look at it from a distance, it looks really cool. I mean, I really like the way the grill looks, but I mean, it's a cheap grill. You get what you pay for. And it's only temporary until we can get the uh, RS4 bumper sorted out. I mean, it's going to take some time to figure out mounting and making it look correct and fit the way I want it to fit because I don't want to have any, uh, you know, big gaps where the headlights are or by the fenders. Like, I want it to fit really nice. And that just takes time, you know. It's going back and forth, fitting it multiple times. And I, I really, it's nice out right now, so I really would like to drive the car and 
kind of put some miles on it. Also, in a future episode, we need to uh, put the final tune from JHM on the car. So we're gonna put the final tune, which is the complete tune, because uh, up to a few months ago, I believe uh, the tune I had on it was just uh, like a 91 bass tune for the KO4R turbo kit. So they completed the 93 octane tune for it. So I'm gonna throw that on and we'll see how it runs. Um, but let's uh, throw the bumper on the car and let's see how it looks with the blackout headlights and everything. There's definitely a lot more work that needs to be done to this. I mean, this bumper is going to come on and off a couple of times. I do want to do something with those fog lights, but I think we're going to take a look at those in the next video. So let's throw this on the car and let's see how it looks. saying if you're gonna do this you might want to also spray paint that little grill in the back of the bumper black so because it kind of stands out a little bit I mean I don't know how noticeable it is on the camera but I think if I once I get the bumper back up maybe I'll I'll spray the piece behind here black to match it so it doesn't stand out as much but you know for, for what it's worth I really like it let me know what you guys think. Uh, it was a really quick install, especially since the bumper was already off. I kind of want to do some work on these fog lights, so I'm going to pull it back off, pull the fog lights out, and that's going to be in another video. But uh, for now, I think we're going to call that a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all uh, project at Project Z Garage. If you have any questions about the install, let me know. Um, I will post in the description uh, the link to the last video on how we took the bumper off it is really pretty easy on these cars it, it really doesn't take very long to get it to get it off the car but uh until then guys i, oh, I think zeus is having a little howling fit here but until uh next time guys we will catch you in the next video peace